worked with the build of Princess Elizabeth World War II. I'm aiming to build a diorama of the uh, couple of vehicles here that Queen Elizabeth operated on during the Second World War. This is part four. I'm going to work on the uh, exhaust now which I uh, carried over from uh, previous part four. Using blue tack. Oh, it's actually green tack here with me in Thailand to uh, hold the parts while I uh, glue them together. A bit of uh, extra thin to uh, hold it together. Now adding the uh, canopy, the uh, fold up back uh, curtain. I decided to go with the curtain rather than the, um, there's two options, the curtain up or the curtain down. I've offered to, op optioned to uh, put the curtain up so you can see ins the detail inside. This is a fiddly job because it doesn't actually fit properly. But, uh, doesn't the, line, the, the corners don't line up properly and I managed to uh, with a bit of adjustment got it into place Check this after I spray painted. Okay, working on the wheels now. There are uh, two front, two rear, and a spare. I've got a bit off camera here, so uh, just bear with me while I work on this. I uh, must have bumped the camera sometime when I'm switching it on and off. Didn't really, should have checked. Note to self: check before pressing the record button. Oh, it's happening again. <laughs> Neighbours having a fight. <laughs> Every time I video they're either cutting grass or having a fight. <laughs> Sometimes here in Thailand it's not actually a fight, it's just uh, they talk in very loud voices which uh, to the western ear sound aggressive but they're not. Two front ones with the uh, inside of the uh, tyre done. I like this uh, mat I'm using. It, uh, it's got all these little compartments where you can put things so they it, they don't roll away. Now adding the uh, brake drums to the uh, 
front and rear wheels. The uh, spare doesn't have a brake drum. According to the um, instructions, there is a hubcap as well. But on the, all the English versions they show in the instructions, they don't show the hubcaps, only on the uh, Dutch version. So uh, I couldn't see in the photos of Queen Elizabeth, so I don't know whether the hubcaps are on. I decided to leave them off. Being very careful not to get uh, glue into the uh, hole for the hub of uh, the axle, sorry. Now starting to work on the uh, tub or uh, American term or the uh, cargo bay English version. <laughs> it's funny how they uh, call parts different names. I spent 13 years with Ford Australia and uh, became very confusing at times between the American and the uh, English or German drawings we were getting because they call the same part by different names. For example, the, uh, the bonnet, the hood, the fender, mudguard, and these sort of things. Oh, fiddly. Again, not working in the centre of the uh, mat, but uh, you can see a little bit where well. took a bit to work out. There's actually a, a locating slot for these for the seat backs to go into, and uh, they don't get into the right position. You uh, don't the, the uh, canopy won't fit. So I had dry fit this a couple of times to make sure I was getting it right. Again, plying the uh, extra thin to areas you don't see. Now adding the uh, valance to the back. Again the instructions are very unclear on how this actually fits but uh, a bit of deduction when I notice that there are locating tabs on one side and it doesn't actually show where it goes and you've got to sort of just keep trying different positions till uh, it looks like it fits. In the end I got it right. Just noticed a message come up, it's uh, John Steen's birthday today, so happy birthday John if you're watching this. Noticed I left a uh, small um, a bit of the sprue which was fouling the location of this so I had to uh, file it off to make it short located properly. You, see, you try and get them all but then, then you find you missed one. Now it fits right. For the diorama I just managed to uh, pick up a um, photo frame. I'll take the glass out and use the uh, frame to uh, mount the diorama on. So uh, I already have the uh, nice edges already done. Anybody asking how much they cost? Tw 20 baht, a dollar. <laughs> 
looks like it must be going to rain again. The clouds are coming in and uh, the birds are making a lot of noise. Sure sign it's going to rain. It's very nostalgic here in uh, Thailand. The uh, crows come in and uh, it just sounds like back home with the crows. Now I'll get to uh, spraying the uh, parts. Got a different setup now, my hand's not going to get in the way. Using the uh, Mr. Surface again, 1500 in the rattle can. And this time I'll make sure my hands are well away from the spray. Cooler today, yeah. I've got my slippers and a uh, jacket on. Uh, what's the temperature? 28 degrees. Sounds funny, but that's cold here. You see, Thais uh, going around today in puffer jackets, 28 degrees. Funny here in Thailand, uh, there is no heating in any of the houses, and even my car, an MG ZS, doesn't have a heater. It has air conditioning, but no heater. I wonder if uh, MG ZSs in Australia have uh, heaters. Most of these parts will be uh, sprayed with a second coat of uh, olive drab but the uh, muffler here will be using a, uh, a deep red or a hull red mixed with a, a brown to make it look a bit rusty. Quite a different method here holding the using these alligator clips. You can see how much the uh, paper toweling, this porous paper toweling on the front of the uh, filters, captures a lot of the uh, overspray and uh, saves the filters. But even though they're cheap, it's still uh, paper toweling's a lot cheaper.
Thanks for watching. Please uh, tick the uh, thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos. So it's cheerio for now. So it's cheerio from me.